Okay, which... Which one's happened here? Uh, didn't, didn't find out, didn't, didn't um, was, didn't even, uh, didn't even cross my mind, so, but uh, as I said, welcome to the stream, I'm glad you're here, I said I'm sorry for your loss, and something's gone wrong with my airplane here, I'm trying to, I'm not sure what. So what we've got happening here is I'm not sure exactly what's happened. My I've lost almost all my speed here. I've put the uh, throttle back up to full. I've put my lean completely full while I try to troubleshoot this. But I have lost all power in my. As I said I went from going 100 and. 113 leaned to going 94 with full. That's not right. Vehicle's at least running steady. I've turned the autopilot back on so I can try to figure out exactly what's going on here. Um. Uh, leaned um so in the aircraft um when you actually get to your cruising altitude you're actually wanting to decrease the amount of fuel that's going to there and you can do that by um leaning the engine with this real red knob that you see right down here um what that does is it allows the engine to run more efficiently so it uses less fuel be but being able to maintain the same speed in this case here i've completely lost um Well, I can see what's happened, actually. So let me fix this. I accidentally hit my flaps. That would certainly do it. Let me get my flaps back up. There we go. So that's just an example of, like, the aviating first and then communicating. So once I got everything in control, I was able to get everything working again. Okay, so that should fix the problem, I hope. Um, what's that? What? Yeah, that 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 can that's a really sucky one as well. Yeah, the flaps. I mean, I must have accidentally pressed the button. Pressed the button when I was put the controller down and put my flaps to ten. But it still doesn't change the fact that something still seems to be wrong here, and I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I need to be. I should be running about. Um, 
should be moving a lot faster than this. So I'm just gonna let this sit at where it is and, and let everything um, climb back up and then I'll re-lean things and see where we're sitting. <sighs> yeah, more power. I'm at full power at the moment. Full power, full lean. And it's struggling just to stay at 100. I suspect that I might have damaged something. But, so the question is, where am I now? Do I continue to my destination or do I cut across to my alternate? Well, he's, he's sat around for about, um, I was afraid of that, four or five hours talking. All right. All right, I'm going to turn off the autopilot here. I'm just going to try to level up my plane, and I want to see what this is doing. Check my magnetos. All right, nothing wrong with those. Yeah, I know I'm on full rich. I ended up having a um, something happened with the plane. I lost a lot of power, and I put it back to full rich to keep myself from stalling. Um. So right now, I'm trying to actually troubleshoot what's going on with the plane. My speed is nowhere near where it should be. At, even at the full rich, and I don't want to leave it right now because it's the v plane's going way too slow at the moment. So I'm in the middle of trying to troubleshoot what's exactly going on. I've just checked my magnetos to see if I lost some of the magnetos. Magnetos are good. RPMs are way are actually down. This is actually the RPMs I'm running if I'm leaned. So it's I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. I'm just gonna that for a second so yes yeah, something's gone wrong with the airplane I'm not entirely sure what it is I'm going to redirect to my alternate land the plane and then see where, where it goes there so got yeah, flat tire in the air <laughs> I can look at the outside, see what I can see there. So give me a second. That'll do it. I'm missing a flap again. Yeah, definitely going to divert. Take a look at that. Bloody hell. All right. I've had this happen before to just a completely different set of uh, symptoms. Actually, yeah, there's my problem. See, last time I had this problem, I didn't find out about it until I was near landing, and that's because I put my I put my flaps down. So obviously, my flaps suddenly going down was not because of anything I pushed. It was just because it went broken. All right, so I'll definitely be redirecting myself to Wepia. So we're just gonna. Right. Nearest. I should redirect to Wepia. Why water? Let me just check real fast about 
how the, how the landing is for that because I'm gonna have to do a build on it. <laughs> it's a red plane. I crashed it. I crashed it the last time I flew it. Uh. All right. So at the moment I'm flying. It, it's flying at the moment. So it'll give me time to figure out what I want want to do. I just need to check and see. Check my um logs real quick, my documents, and see if what I can do with that closest airport that I have there. Oh, it looks like we're not going to make it to to the destination we were after, but so why watch right there? Okay, just looking up my my maps, my things real quick. Just give me a second. So yeah, I'm just pulling up the ATC assist on the VAT pack to tell me what I need to do. I might actually want to, depending on what it is, I might keep going for that one. The other choice is just to actually take it into the thing, knowing that I have a broken flap and just, because I've landed with a broken flap before. Um, I'll, the, the next stream, I'm not sure when it will happen, but I'm, tr I'm trying to do one a week, but I'm, hopefully I'll be able to speed that up once I start getting, like, building my ortho file streamlined and that sort of thing. So, just give me a second here. Uh, I don't want to go to YWAT. There's no deck of documentations for it. Unfortunately, out in this area that we're at here, there is no real... The, the, there's airports all over the place, but they're all like single runways, no support, and I'm going to definitely need a GPS assist to get down. Uh, it's just going to take much longer to get there. I'm going to have to run full engines and rely on my autopilot. Yeah. I think you're right. I think that at this point in time, getting to my destination over here at um, Horn Island is just as just as difficult as making it to this one. And I'm almost lined up to the um, runway that's there, so I won't have to do much change. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and add that procedure in now. So. be a different one that I'm going to do in um, Aerodome chart. Yeah, so unfortunately a friend of theirs passed away the other day um, due to a sickness, unfortunately. 16 years old, and it's definitely a sad state of affairs with that. Uh, procedure 32, do I have... Can I do a 32? probably be better off landing in Northern Peninsula Airport, actually. Otherwise, well, I'm having to do a lot of maneuver. <coughs> Don't want to do too much maneuvering. I should be fine as long as I'm not um, messing with my flaps any. I should be able to make it there. <clears throat> Can't even I said making to my alternate. Hmm. 
definitely a bit of a conundrum. I need GPS assistance to get down. I will want I'll be wanting to use the GPS to assisting my approach and keeping my control of the plane almost to the runway. Weepa is definitely closer. Now I'm redirecting to Weepia. Also looking at this. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll I'll continue making the trip, but just that we'll be going a lot about ten kilometers and ten and yeah, ten knots per hour slower than I'd really want to, and I won't be able to lean my engine any because I got to keep the speed up. All right. That well, that does bring up another thing. Let me look at my fuel. Um, fuel flow, 12.2 gallons per hour, yeah, uh, I've got, about an hour and a half of fuel, ETA, one hour to get there. That's cutting it close. No, yeah, all right. Redirecting. I just, I just can't trust the fuel because I only load. I loaded basically what I needed for the, for the block. I don't have any extra fuel on board. Yeah. So it said I've got about an hour and a half worth of fuel at this fuel thing, and it'll take me an hour to get to my destination, and that just leaves me with only a half an hour of fuel. And if we end up having a strong headwind because we've got a lot of the crosswind's pretty bad. If the wind changes, I'll be screwed. Nah. All right. Elite flight plan. Me, um... <laughs> I don't think it quite worked that way in the, game, in the sim, but thanks anyway. Alright, so yeah, I just need to make my announcement on. We I mean, no airports in range, so, or no airline, airplanes in range, so. Um, let's see, what traffic am I near? Why? Let's see. All right. YLHR traffic. 
H thou C one seven seven two IFR I just announced on the Unicom y YLHR traffic VHVAL C172 IFR change of destination to YBWP due to flap damage. Current position radial 327 32.5 nautical miles from YLHR heading directly to YBWP. Just let's know where I'm at, which direction I'm flying, and not that there's anyone there, but it's still good. Um, still still good to do so and let's 